Hello YouTube. This is a Mora model number 137. And after watching several videos of uh, YouTube uh, YouTubers like Karen Shaky and uh, some others that have worked on their Mora knives and made some uh, modifications to them. I decided I would uh, work on that a little bit and that's what I'm gonna work on this afternoon this Mora I have smoothed out right here with some rough sandpaper and what I hope to do is have a uh, just the right spot for my thumb when I grip the mora. Of course, uh, you don't have to have a special spot or that just to, gri to grip it, but that's what I'm working on. I'm going to put uh, a place here for the thumb, the uh, tail end of the handle shows that it's a full tang, but I'm going to try to cover that up with something, make uh, some kind of a pommel to go back there, and at least one other modification is going to involve some paracord to carry this as a neck knife and what I'm thinking about doing is looping the paracord over the uh, top of the handle just to hold it in place just to make it a little more secure and so uh, what I'm going to work on is putting a groove right across here for this uh, paracord to slip into, to hold that in place a little bit and then uh, carry it around my neck or something like so. So that's what I've got planned. Uh, I may uh, do some other modifications to it, but that's what I'm working on right now. Of course, uh, to work on this wooden handle, I have to use this Leatherman Wave and use the file on it. It's kind of a wood file. I'm going to start this groove right here for the paracord. After all, no project is a real bushcraft project unless you've used a multi-tool. 